There's a competitive ambience in the air, isn't there? But let's return to our plants. Today, we'll discuss experience points we gain from various plants. I believe you already know that the optimal way to gain experience is through aquatic plants. But what if someone doesn't like aquatic plants but prefers beautiful flowers instead? Or if someone wants to try something new but still benefit from their gained experience? Today, we will bring closure to our queries and gain the knowledge to calculate these values independently. Let's start with a fundamental example, gillyweed. We are already familiar with the fact that the growing period for gillyweed is six hours. Let's memorize this value for now. Let's commit to memory that only one point of experience comes from gillyweed. So, with gillyweed, we earn one point of experience every six hours. Now, let's learn how much experience comes from a more complex plant within six hours. Niffler's Fancy will serve as an excellent example for this demonstration. For Niffler's Fancy, there is a 72-hour growing period, and a golden quality result grants 10 experience points. When we divide the 72 hours required to grow Niffler's Fancy by 6, we get 12. By dividing the 10 experience points from Niffler's Fancy by 12, its growing period within 6 hours, we find that each 6-hour period gives us roughly 0.83 experience points. So now, let's compare the experience point gains of Gillyweed and Niffler's Fancy over a 6-hour period. Gillyweed rewards 1 experience point, while Niffler's Fancy awards 0.83 within the same time frame. As you can see, Gillyweed cultivation provides a more efficient means for harvesting experience points compared to Niffler's Fancy. This formula can be used to calculate the experience earned from any plant over any time frame. For those who don't want to overload their minds with formulas, I have a spreadsheet for your reference. Feel free to screenshot or download the image file from the description below. Now, let's discuss medium and large planting stations. These stations can be purchased from Gabby in the bewildering Blooms shop. The two-slot station costs 100 gems, while the four-slot station costs 300 gems. The advantages of these stations are that you can grow two or four plants in one spot without moving from one station to another. And the care charms you use are shared among all the plants planted in one station. One disadvantage of these stations is their large size, as they take up a lot of space. Another drawback is their high selling price, which can be a significant investment for some growers. I want to draw your attention to one of the research tasks. I know most experienced gardeners have already solved it, but I'd like to provide a guide or some tips for those just starting out. There may be specific tasks that ask you to showcase a rare colored plant using the emote Herbologist's Pride. This emote, which can be used to complete certain tasks, can be purchased from Gabby in the Bewildering Blooms' shop. However, be aware that you must showcase a rare colored plant, which isn't easy to achieve. You'll need to at least unlock the seasoned artistic florist's talent and harvest the corresponding plant 150 times to unlock this rare color. To perform this emote, the process is quite simple. First, locate the herbologist pride emote in your emote menu. Then, select the rare colored plant as required by the task. After doing so, you will successfully perform the emote. And you're done. That's all the information for now. Make sure to watch all the series to be fully informed. If you have anything useful to share or any questions, feel free to leave a message in the comments section below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, Ertred, could you please spare a moment to assist me in finding that elusive Diracol bird that seems to be hiding in the potions classroom? It would be tremendously helpful. Sure, Daniel. I'm just finishing singing a lullaby to my mandrakes, and I'm on my way to you. Thanks, Ertred. You really are a true friend.